And a very good evening, everybody. Baseball Coyotes pounded Bismarck in the state qualifying game on Saturday, 14-2 at the WDA. And a couple of sophomores led the way, not afraid of the big moment. People were getting on base. It was, um, we had good pitching behind us. It was, it was just a fun game all around. Guys knew what you had to do. You came out and knocked them out. Yeah, after we won game one, we knew game two was going to be tough, but we knew we had to win on day three, and that's what we did. It was fun. And nothing like that feeling of getting to state after a long regular season. Yeah, that was a great feeling. I mean, this is a great group of guys, and everybody works hard. Yeah, I mean, my biggest approach was just to stay calm in the box, um, just uh, have faith in myself and have faith in the guys behind me. And you had practiced all year, so you can't let the moment get too big for you, right? Yep. Uh, coaches did a really good job preparing us and uh, just had to stay calm and know that it's, it's all – it's, it's all uh, it's all within me. Got a really good sophomore year in the varsity level. You got to be happy with that. Yeah, uh, it's definitely been a pretty good year so far. Hope to to keep the bat hot uh, going into the state. Well, you told me when the year began that hey, we're a good club, and you pulled it off, and you're going to state. Yeah, I knew the boys could do it. We didn't enter the uh, WDA tournament at the seed we wanted, but uh, every single year I played with this team, we're a tournament team, came through, and now we're going to state. Huge wins. You beat some good clubs at Dickinson's of the world. They're good. I mean, Bismarck has a lot of kids. Those are big wins. Yeah, I feel like I feel like our whole team our whole team knew we could beat them. I think we just needed the confidence and the rally. So we started good and feel like we could have made it to the championship, but just fell for short. It didn't. It took a lot, but we won. I mean, it took everybody, but we ended up getting the state, and that's what matters. Yeah, as a senior, you couldn't ask for anything better. Right, that's, that was my main goal. I just wanted to go to state because I haven't, all four years, I haven't been able to see that, so that's been really awesome. And you can't be surprised that you guys came through. I mean, obviously, we can play good together, and when we did, we, those two games, we played really well. And that game against Legacy, it was a close game still. Sure. They ended up winning it all, so. And not the first time that Jackson's been interviewed on KMV TV. He was a member of the Williston team that played in the Babe Ruth World Series, and uh, obviously he's done well. He's only a sophomore, so good for him. And uh, also, they will take on Fargo Shanley at 12:30 on Thursday in Dickinson. Mr. Ergens was also on that team, but he was hurt. So that's what happens when you're playing big games. You don't get afraid of the moment. All right, Montana track notes. Hats off tonight to Savage. They won the Class C state championship. They tied with Roberts. Miss Baker, a junior from Glasgow, wins the 3200, 11.1698. Uh, boys, 800. Kyler Halindi, uh, Glasgow, and a good Scotty, 157.54. And a good outing for Wolf Point, a senior by the name of Peyton Summers, wins the 1600, 421.06. And he also won the 3,200, 937.39. What an outing for him. Kyle, freshman aviator, finished third over the weekend at the WDA in Minot. Once again, just a frosh. And she beat Caitlin Kraft 6-4, 6-1 from Legacy. Now heads to the state on Friday in Grand Forks. Joining her, Kyle Doubles team of Gracia Tong and Kiera Borson, two steady seniors who deserve to head the state in their senior season after being in the program for a long, long time. Action will begin on Friday, and that'll be in Grand Forks. Finally, got some good news. Minnesota's two stars have to play better than Dallas's two stars. They did tonight. Edwards 29, Towns 25. They are now trailing three games to one to Dallas. So the Celtics are going to have to wait to see who they will take on in the NBA Finals. More good news. Minnesota gets KC 4-2. Jose Miranda, two RBIs. Let's take a timeout on First News at 10.